Are you taking metformin? And did you know what are the side effects of metformin? Metformin is usually given to people with type 2 diabetes because supposedly it has the least side effects. However, I want to dive deeper into what side effects metformin actually have on people so that you will better understand what side effects you may face with metformin and what we can do about it. First, let's learn how metformin works. Metformin works by decreasing the glucose that's released from your liver and it also helps your cells become more insulin sensitive. Now that sounds good, but let's look at what metformin actually does in your body. If you're someone that suffers from kidney disease, it's been shown that people with chronic kidney disease is not the best suitable for metformin as research shows that if your kidney functions are impaired, it can cause to accumulation of metformin metformin. Also, researchers have found that metformin may have adverse effect on urinal function in people that have type 2 diabetes and moderate CKD, which is chronic kidney disease. One thing people don't know about metformin is that it may actually lower your testosterone levels, especially if you are a gentleman. In a study with men with type 2 diabetes, just being on metformin for three months significantly decreased their testosterone levels. And there is increasing evidence that men with low testosterone levels have lower survival rate and higher all-cause mortality rate, including cardiovascular cancer, compared to men who have normal or higher testosterone levels. Also, researchers have found that long-term metformin use is highly related to vitamin B12 deficiency. They found that low B12 levels are more common in people who take metformin, not not only is metformin associated with vitamin B12 deficiency, it's also related to anemia as well. A lot of people ask me, what is the best drug to take or what is the best diabetic medication? My stance is if you're able to reverse the root cause of type 2 diabetes, which is insulin resistance with whole and processed plant-based foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, so that you'll be able to lower your A1C so that your doctor can take you off of medications, I think that is the best drug that you can use. The best drug is a whole foods plant-based lifestyle. And if you want to learn more about how I've helped hundreds of people get off their diabetic medications, including metformin, glipicide, insulin, glimepiride, and many more, then make sure you go watch my free training on how I explain the science behind whole foods plant-based eating so that you can do the same. Link is in the description below and I'll see you guys there.